Okay guys, let's jump right into part two. Um, this is from drugstore.com. Um, I ordered some stuff when they were having the, I think it was 20% off just a little while ago, 20% off sale. So some of it shipped separately, but the shipping was so fast, like before I got the first order, the second order was already here. So um, yeah, it comes in a little tiny box like this, drugstore.com, and their shipping is really, really fast, like it is. So I picked up two of the Ardell lashes. And these two lashes were $2.29 a piece. And I picked up the Wispies. And I also picked up the Demi. $120. So those are really pretty. Got those. I picked up a foundation from Black Opal. The True Color Stick and Beautiful Bronze. And that's what it looks like in the tube beautiful bronze I've bought so many of these trying to match my colors I haven't swatched any of them yet though and I have three of them I know one is definitely for contouring because it's too dark and um, two of them they look kind of like my skin tone but I'm not sure and then I picked up this Revlon nail polish in Celestial FX oh sorry this is what it looks like it's like stars and moons and stuff it looks just like a galaxy almost um, just really really pretty colors silvery sparkly colors and I've seen this on I think her YouTube name is pretty Pisces 88 I'll, I'll put it in the in the video because I can't I don't want to say the wrong thing but she um, I follow her on Instagram and she always does her nails and she has that like on her accent nail and it's very pretty so I was like I gotta get that polish so yeah so shout out to her for putting me on that and then I picked up the Revlon nearly naked um, powder and dark yeah, so I'm, I'm waiting to try this. I like the foundation. It's really, really nice and light. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to try this powder with it to set it. And then I also picked up one of the Wet n Wild lipsticks like I need anymore. I could do a whole collection on these, but I think I got almost all of them except for maybe like five, which is ridiculous. And so I got 912 in the flesh. 912. See in the flesh. I have some other swatches on my hand from a previous video, guys, so just excuse that. But at the top right here is 912C in the flesh. That's what that looks like. So kind of like a mauve type nude color. So yeah, so the nearly naked powder was $7.99. The Rev on Top Speed was $4.79. The Black Opal Foundation Stick was $7.60 and the Wet n Wild Lip Color was $1.59. So yeah, so that was not bad at all. Oh goodness, I forgot to show you guys something else. Okay, I had two. This is from Walgreens from the last haul. I had picked up two of the Rimmel Kate lipsticks because they were on sale for like half price so they were like two something I can't remember the exact price but I picked up um, 08 and I'm gonna swatch 08 right here I don't know if you can see that and that's what 08 looks like kind of like another pinky nude I don't know what's up with me in these pinky nudes I guess I've been just trying to find a different nude beside that real ashy looking nude and I picked up zero, is this 60? Oh, this 60, six zero. And this is really, really pretty berry color. Um, I'm still into my berry colors right now. So, and that's it here, that berry color. So that is really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, that was it from there. And then moving right along, I guess I'll do next since it's right next to me. I went to um, TotalBeauty.com and they were having a um, spend $30 for $60 worth of NYX products. And so I bought that and then I went on NYX website to um, buy some stuff. So yeah, so let's see, let's see. I got a butter gloss in peaches and cream. Okay, and this is what it looks like, butter gloss. I heard these were really, really 
excuse me, moisturizing for the lips. So it has a doe foot applicator. And then let's do a swatch right here. And that's what it looks like. It's right there. Kind of like a peachy coral color. Really, really pretty. So can't wait to rock that. And this is the little bag it came in. I'm just picking from the bag. I'm just pulling something out. And that that butter gloss was five dollars. And then I got a lip liner in hot pink. Watch this little lip liner up here, and that's the lip liner there. That's what it looks like. So it's hot pink, basically. I got these for like the springtime, so I can wear my bright colors. And then I also got a lip liner in hot red. Hot red, and then I also got one in prune rain well I want to say prune purple rain okay so I'm gonna swatch both of these you'll know the difference because they're right on top of the top of each other and one is red and one is purple okay so those are two swatches for that um, hot red and purple rain and those were Three fifty. I think I have one more to show you guys. Current. I got current by NYX as well. And I'm gonna swatch current right to the side. And current is just a deeper plum color. So that's current there. Right there. Current. Very, very pretty. So like I said, those were three fifty. And then what happened was I ended up getting three full size lip glosses. But they have like these sets. And I was supposed to get the Kiss the Stars lip gloss set for $10. And it's supposed to come with three mini sizes of these. But they they sent me an email. And Nix is customer service. I'm going to tell you, they're, they're bomb. So they sent me an email and they were like, we don't have the set or whatever. And so they were like, we can give you um, each one of these in a full-size gloss. So I was like, okay, cool. That's what's up. So I just lucked up and got three of the full-size glosses. So I was really happy about that because I actually wanted the set. So, um... They still charge me $10, and these glosses are actually $5 a piece, so I got um, three for 10 So I thought that was really, really good and really, really nice of them. So it came with um, one to nine beige. And that's what beige looks like in a tube. Kind of like a little pinky, pinky nude. <laughs> pinky nude color, so. I'm running out of places to swatch on my hands, y'all. I'm going to see if you guys can even see this. I don't even know if I can turn my hand like that for you to see it. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you can't see like that. Okay, I'm going to swatch it again. I'm running out of places to swatch on my arm. Okay, I'm gonna swatch it right here. So that is beige there. Okay. And then I got one in natural, and I've been waiting to try this. This is a pretty, pretty new color. I've been waiting to try this. I could wear this by itself or over a lip over a lipstick. And they all come with doe foot applicators. It's a slanted doe foot. And I'm gonna swatch natural right next to it. And so that's natural right there. Okay. And then I got, the last one I got was called Sugar Pie. And this is really, really pretty. Sugar Pie. It's pretty. So they all like light colors. And then I, I'm going to swatch this right here. And that is Sugar Pie. So those are the three that I picked up. And got them all for 10 bucks because they didn't have the small ones. Alright, I'm going to have to get a makeup wipe and like, wipe my arm off. This is getting crazy. All these swatches. Get that time to dry. Alright, so. Move 
Ride Along. I picked up an eyeshadow and this is an ice mocha. Ice mocha. And I really wanted to try um, MAC Satin Taupe and they said that this is a good dupe for our Satin Taupe. So I don't have Satin Taupe. I don't know what it looks like. But um, yeah. So I'll just give you guys a little swatch on my hand. Sorry, I don't mean to flick you guys off. This is uh, Ice Mocha. So, I thought that'd be a very, very pretty lid color. Can't wait to try that. And let's see how much Ice Mocha was. Ice Mocha was $5. $5 for Ice Mocha. And then I did pick up a jumbo pencil and milk. And it's just white. I'm not going to swatch this. And I picked up the NYX Blush in Cinnamon. I've heard so much about, so much good things about this. I can't wait to try it. This is actually my first orangey type blush. So that's what it looks like there. Cinnamon. And let's see. Ooh, it's pretty orange blush. Yep. So I can't wait to try that. And the blush was... Oh, I can't find it. The blush was $6. Okay, and then I also picked up the concealer in orange to um, do some color correcting under my eyes because when I put on light color concealer, I get gray because I have dark circles. So I have to use something like this and then put the um, lighter concealer under my eyes to brighten. And so um, I apologize, it has brush marks in it, but it's just orange. Okay. And so this little concealer was five fifty. Okay, so this this is working pretty good um, so far. I tried to use it around my mouth, but I'm gonna use it a little more because I'm not used to it just yet. But I'm gonna use it a little more, and I use it under my eyes. I know it's a difference when I put on my highlight color, and my eyes weren't gray under there. So yeah. And then I got two of their eyeshadow palettes: the Smoky Eyeshadow Palette and also natural and I haven't seen a lot of videos on these like I've been trying to look on YouTube to see videos on these and I haven't seen any and so I think I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys um, this video is already going in the 12 minutes and I still have a lot of stuff left this is gonna be like two three parts of a beauty haul but I guess I'll swatch this really really quickly and then I'll come back and show you guys elf and beach cosmetics so the natural palette I'll swatch these first and then I'll um, later on go back and show you guys. So this is what it looks like. comes with this little brush here. Okay, so those are the colors. So you have some really pretty neutral colors and then the packaging is really sleek and small and you can fit this in your purse. Um, this can probably fit in a good size makeup case. So you can take this with you if you want to like do your eyes you know you weren't like away from home and you just wanted something small to take so i don't know how pigmented they are i'm going to swatch a few of them now so you can see no yeah, they look chalky so that's that very first light color right here by my finger and then that's the second color this is the third color this is the fourth color this is that fifth color and then let me swatch this chocolate brown one really really quickly that's the chocolate brown one and that one's pigmented it shows up pretty good the other ones they don't they look chalky they don't show up but I'm pretty sure if you use like a good base you probably can get it to work but um you know these are like these are the first NYX eyeshadows that I've ever tried so I don't even know what to expect and like I said I was trying to find a tutorial or something on it but I couldn't find anything on it and um, this was seven dollars and then I'm gonna swatch the smoky one really really quickly so I don't bore you guys to death anymore so this is what the smoky one looks like and let's see swatch this sh shimmery black oh that's pigmented and then right next to it this is like a matte black color that's nice this one is like a purpley plumish 
color. So this one looks a little uneven, patchy, but um, probably can work with it. That's pretty pigmented. A nice blue color. And that's that bluish purple. And then this has a nice little bronze color. This is light, so you probably can use this like a highlight in the inner tear duct or something. And then this one is definitely a highlight white color. Not bad for white. Not too powdery or chalky. So that's pretty. So that's it for the smoky palette. I actually like this one a whole lot better than the natural, of course. And I like smoky eyes anyway. So, um, yeah. So I guess that is it for now. And I will be back with part three of this extensive beauty haul showing you um, BH Cosmetics and e.l.f. I think that's all I have left. Okay, guys. I will see you right back here in my next video. All right. See you back for part three. Bye, guys.